Hello Channel Islands, it's the end of Friday, the last day of Presbyteral Conference and I've just come back, come back to my little room and thought I'd share with you about what's happened today. Today on Friday in Presbyteral Conference is always quite an emotional day because we have a service where we remember all the presbyters who've died since we last met and it's a really moving service because everybody's there watching it online or there in person knows that one day is going to be your name read in that service and it's a real privilege to remember all those who have died and given their life to the lord and to the church it's a, it's a really moving time it's also a chance when we get to talk as presbyters about some of the stuff that's going to come up on the conference agenda next week so we talked about online communion that's a really hot topic uh, right now what does that mean for us and it was also a really nice chance to talk generally about what communion meant to us as presbyters, particularly during the deprivation of communion during lockdown. So there's some really beautiful stories and reflections shared about that. Uh, we also talked about changing patterns of ministry. It's, it's no surprise to you that um, there just aren't enough ministers around uh, to do the job that we need to do. And so there's, a, there's an incentive um, that's this happened, it's been around for a while called local lay pastors and what does that mean for us to have the idea is to have a, a, a local pastor in every single church so basically kind of, it's not a minister but somebody responsible who's going to take that ownership and is it paid is it not paid what does that mean for circuits what does that mean for lay people what does that mean for ministers what does that mean for presbyters so there was a really interesting uh, discussion about that as well lots of worship although can't sing it's tough it's really really hard um and yeah so that was the last day of presbyteral conference and tomorrow saturday it's the induction of the present new president and vice president sonia hicks and barbara easton which will be very very exciting so i'm gonna go out and get something to eat and then i'll report back to you tomorrow bye